Hey Capricorns, I hope all of you are doing well. Let's jump into some card slinging. Uh -huh. See what the Hush Tarot deck is going to bring out about your current energies. This is for my Capricorns. Current energies for my Capricorn. Let's get it going, guys. Current energies for my Capricorns, please. Current energy. Oh, pop. Mm. What we got? A five of wands. Chaos and confusion. A time of growth. A time to be creative. It's also an indication, a changing of a season because it's very creative energy. It means uh, entropy has entered the picture. We've got room to grow. Uh, need to uh, organize <laughs> and structure for new growth to start coming in. Let's clarify a little bit. It does indicate chaos and confusion, just disorganization right now. Can we clarify it? Yeah. What we got? I'm going to take it as reversed, guys. It's the lovers. Hmm. Okay. Right now, current energy says that you're not sure what you, what you can depend on, rely on, what you're committed to, what direction to go in. We're a little bit of like, ooh, I can't get my bearings on this. Let's step back into the energies. Let's go back just a few steps, a little bit in time. Let's see, right in the middle of the energy, when it was starting to build up on you, that's whatever caused uh, and amplified the, that five of wands and that lovers on its head. Can we get the mist energy, the middle? Oh, pop. Yeah, we've got a four. Of cups, apathy, uh, not enthused. <laughs> ah, hmm. Four cups has us just sitting and not just not feeling fire at all. It's like I don't know about this. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and clarify it too. Let's see what the what the extra cup we don't want to look at in the hush tarot uh she's holding uh like thistle M mm, uh what is it called M milkweed something like that it's thistle is dried out so let's see what we're thinking <laughs> i'm not so enthused and excited with anymore i don't know if i want to keep doing this oh the full card so we're feeling foolish about something. Let's go ahead and go back to the very beginning when this energy started working itself up, when it started surfacing. Very beginning of it. What brought it up? Very beginning of it. It's for my Capricorns. Where's that energy? Ooh, pop. Hold on. There's something else. We got a page of sword and. A six of cups, the past, mm -hmm. nostalgia. Hmm. Page of Swords could, uh, it's our way of thinking, but it's, I think communication is the page, uh, page of Wands, Page of Swords is normally about communications, uh, receiving messages or information. Hmm. That, that card of the past in our hush tarot, uh, we have hares, not rabbits. It's um, learning the difference between running, running away from something, or stand still and be calm. It's knowing when to flee and when not to flee. Uh -huh. And... It, uh, what's really popping out for me is uh, most of the time your court card, your queen of pentacles, uh, will have a rabbit or a hare presented with her. Mm -hmm. Our ears are up or alert, but uh, rabbits have a tendency to run at a shadow where a hare will put its ears up and stand real still 
to make sure, recheck, do I need to run? Mm. So we definitely got something. Our ears are up that we've heard something. We've got a thought, information, something that's triggered us into um, not because so sure I want to continue on with this. It's going to be circumstances, relationships, interactions with someone. Uh, it can fit any situation. Oh, okay. Bottom of the deck. We've got our King of Wands, Leo energy. Unrealistic expectations. I'm feeling the shadow on that Leo King. Let's pull the ghost of tarot. Let's go a little bit deeper. With the ghostly tarot, we are pulling out the shadows of things within ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Let's come in on the beginning energy. I want which one do I want? Let's see the shadow on what that little page of swords brought us. The, the information, the thought it brought up to us. Let's see the shadow on that page of the swords, please. Page of swords. Pop right there. Nine of swords. Intrusive thoughts. Okay, so it was our own thought. We were triggered off of a... Uh, something that run through our head something but something on the outside is going to have triggered our intrusive thought let's go ahead and look at the six of cups and it uh, triggered something from the past um, experience from the past any shadows on that six of cups please pop eight of swords feeling trapped it started to make us feel trapped in something mm-hmm it brought up the past of a past experience where we know we felt trapped. Um, Eight of Swords is self-imposed bondage, uh, so to say. But um, it's also about how either we're allowing outer influences to trigger us, to have us behaving in, and feeling, thinking in a certain way, or... In, in the highest energy of it is we blindfold ourselves, we muffle our ears, and we follow our own path through those swords where the outside world is not the influence. So something on the outside actually did trigger us a script to go off in our head uh, from the past, a past experience. I felt this before, feeling of being trapped. Thus, we lost our fire for whatever it was we're like nope not do i don't want to do this again this seems to be headed in the same direction i'm uh, feeling foolish about it i'd be naive to it to get back into something let's go ahead and get the shadow on that four cups four cups four cups energy four cups shadow on that four cups energy and just eh, don't want to do it again <clears throat> Nine of Cups, wishes granted. Ooh. With that one, it, it, it coming in as the shadow is saying whatever was triggered uh, from the past, you thought you wanted it. You had great wishes for the past circumstances, the past choice you were making. But when you got into it, what happened? You started to feel trapped by it. And you're all of a sudden, you're like, whoa, wait wait um four is a period of growth actual growth uh when we get emotional growth the cup it will automatically most of the time trigger that wand that chaos that confusion that in entropy uh and either we're going to grow with it or we're going to let it decay and die away thus the entropy uh, the chaos, the confusion. Uh, right now, we're standing in the energy. We've been triggered from the past in something in inside of us that's scripted into our thoughts. Our inner dialogue is whispering to us. We're headed in a um, a repeat direction of achieving, feeling trapped. You might not want to do it. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's let's stick with the nine for a minute. In that four of cups of I don't know about this. Is there any uh, anything else? 
in the past, it's like, um, like I said, we were praying for something, but we didn't consider what it was we were praying for. And the fact we got it and it was like a negative. Anything else on the shadow of that nine that wish granted? Oh, that one was trying to come out. Death, burying the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't want to think with that one coming out and it's major. We don't like thinking about it. We do not like that. Um, it's like, I don't even want to go back and look at the memories. When the memories come up, I'm, 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 that cup's coming in to remind us of something. And we're like, nope, we're turning our head away going, I don't even want to look at it. That's how daggone bad it was, is I don't want, it, don't want to think about it. But guess what? We need to think about it because that would be foolish not to get into the dialogue with ourselves, the rational dialogue the reasoning through uh, the script that's uh, programmed into us the uncomfortableness of it full card shadow on the full card please the shadow on the full card shadow on the full card please pop mm, six pentacles past mutual exchange mutual exchange is tell with that one and the fact is re uh, reiterating over here on the hush hush tarot's six of cups uh, be the hair don't run yet <laughs> but it it is giving us more detail of, of the past of we we were somebody was a fool they was a weasel <laughs> i don't know how else to put it or the, yeah we encountered you know a weasel mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have feelings of as, as foolish as they were. I was even more foolish for even dealing with them. So we're, we've got an opinion about the other person, but we're also judging ourselves with an opinion. Now, remember, remember on a logic level, you don't have to have an opinion about anything. You can look at it and weigh it in what it is just what it is without harsh judge. Uh, judgmental character criticism of self or or another person you just look at it for what it is and you know if you're feeling okay <laughs> I was a fool they were they were a fool but I was the bigger fool for falling for it that kind of thing um let it go because it, it's okay to be foolish it's you know think of the word fail F a i l first attempt in learning i learned something i haven't learned not to be a fool in and that's what's got us sitting in the apathy of no nope, i'm not doing it <laughs> not going back down that lane yes is there anything else on the full card the past that would be helpful to look at anything else that might be hindering Capricorn from seeing things in a different light because we really do need to bury the past. The death card is this is something we need to really put behind us, especially on our way of feeling about ourselves, not so much about the outer person or the outer circumstances of the past, but how we're judging ourselves. We've got to let go of that energy because it, when it triggers in the script of our mind, it brings us to a halt of self-sabotage. Just sit down, miss every opportunity available to you to grow. <laughs> We've got a four cups. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah, missed opportunities. What's what's being triggered for us is causing us to self-sabotage and give up things and not move ourselves forward just because of this one shadowed script about the past. And like I said, it's not time for you to run. It's not time to run from that shadow. It's time to really sit down in it. And the majority of it, the six of uh, pentacles also brings in the aspect of forgiveness. Forgiveness for self, for others, all the way around. We've got to work through this and forgive ourselves and be able to trust ourselves of confidently moving forward. Of I'm wiser because I experienced the past, the past. And you can look back on it and not with the the remorseful regrets of oh oh god i should have done this or i should have done that turn the word should into i could have <clears throat> i see now 
that I could have done this. I could have done things different. That's your wisdom, your perspective. What is it Steve Jobs said? You cannot connect the dots by looking into the future, by anxiety and anticipating, uh, guesstimating, <clears throat> fortune telling your way into the future. You can only connect the dots when you look into the past. That's when the dots start to connect and it brings wisdom and insight and the knowledge you need into the present moment. So let's go ahead and let's see shadows on Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Your shadows on that Five of Wands. And y'all forgive me, my voice is so croaky this morning. Mm. Five of Wands. So any shadows for my Capricorns on the Five of Wands? Pop. Yes. Judgment. Awakening your judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm. How you're... <clears throat> it's reiterating again, guys, the fact that something has scripted or happened that has triggered an old script with ourself the the way we judge ourselves um so yeah pay attention and listen to the dialogue of how you're judging something what you're saying about it what you're saying about what happened in the past and it's like i said all you have to do to re-script is change words like i should have i should have known no change that word should into i could and that gives you a sense of oh see I now know what to do. I won't fall for it again. I could have known instead of I should have known. Hopefully that makes sense. That shifts your energy into being able to uh, feel and think so, uh, something different into the script. Let's go ahead and do the lover's reverse because we are sitting still on that one. This one's trying to come out. I'm going to take it, but I want to keep going. We're not going to turn it over yet. On that lover, shadow on the lover, please. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at that one. We've got a two of swords, temporary indecision. Yeah. That's what the lover's card is. Uh, it's stalling. I can't make a decision and I'm not on fire or enthused. I don't even want to think about it, much less make a decision about it. Because we've got a tower allowing the dust to settle. Mm hmm. And we've got a six of wands accomplishments. Six of wands. The one thing I want to say about what's thrown out from my perspective about your what your higher self is trying to say in, in the shadow side of yourself. It's okay to stall for a minute. There, you don't have to have a quick action. Let the dust, the dust, the emotions of something. Uh, because something from the past has come up and it's crumbled demolition. Let the dust of the emotions settle down uh, and really go ahead and ease yourself back into the past the memory of it, working with the memory of it. And it's, and, and it's like I said, simple things like changing your, the way you talk to yourself on the inner dialogue, the soliloquy of your mind is to change disempowering words like I should have into I could have. That slows the pace, it slows your minds, it calms the rocking ocean of emotions that get triggered by, I should have. <laughs> Let's don't do, what is it? Um, there's something trying to come to me and I had to formulate in my mind, oh, a, a term, masturbate, masturbate. I've read that recently somewhere for it to come up and I can't remember which psychologist said it, coined it. Instead of masturbate, we in our mind, we masturbate. I must, I must, I should have, uh, that kind of thing. Don't, don't put demands on yourself. Just look at it in, in reality of the present moment. I could have done this. I could have known this if, and I could have seen back then, but I see it now. You, you want to empower yourself because it does have you moving forward. And, and like I said, there's no reason to rush. To me, your higher self is telling you, just start at a comfortable pace of going back over. Don't run from it. 
you're the hare, not the rabbit. Don't run from the shadows. Bottom of the deck is mental clarity. Yes. How are you scripting things? How are you judging things? That's a Libra energy. Oh, I like seeing that. Let's go ahead and we're going to pull the Rider Waite deck real quick. Let's see um, what the cards want to pull out for you on the energies going forward. Anything that would be helpful for you to think about, remember, just pay attention to. We got something. Hermit. Yeah, it's time to do the Hermit. Mm-hmm. And the one thing about the hermit, though, guys, he's always at the top of the mountain. <laughs> yes, he's leading his way. He's got his, his own star. He's following his own star. He's not leading, you know, the crowd's not leading him. Not in being influenced by outside things. Uh, but he's st always standing on snow. Frozen potential. Your potentials are being froze. Uh, you're not going to miss out on anything. Don't have, get upset with yourself because you went into quiet analytical introspection mode. Uh, I like seeing this come out because we may, may be beating ourselves up a little bit. I've got to make a choice. I need to do it quickly. No, it's almost like the universe saying, no, we froze everything. And as soon as you get done doing the shadow work, as soon as you get done not running from the shadow, and really work through it and re-script it so that it benefits you to move into the six of wands away from the five of wands. Your potential will rain down on you. So you're not going to miss out anything. You will not miss out on anything. All the opportunity, because like I said, we've got missed opportunity on the four cups. You're not going to miss the opportunity. It's that potential is being brought to a frozen state for you, for you to do the inner work you need to do. So that's good. Bottom of the deck, we got the devil card. Work on the shadow. Bottom of the deck card is the undercurrent energy of something and a shadow of something of freeing ourselves. That's your higher guys. And I love it because I always see Capricorn as the one that holds the key uh, to, uh, uncage ourselves to free ourselves so yeah baby steps we're a little bit off balance guys we're a little bit off balance with that two pentacles but pay attention because the um, infinity sign is saying that we will repeat things over and over uh, a fear of manifesting doing the same thing over and over again so hopefully that made sense since let's go ahead and pull in tarot in translation i love these there's no pictures guys it's to me it's like having a third reader or a voice come in into our little session and give an opinion on the reading so let's jump in let's see going forward energy anything or anything about the reading that really needed to stand out Anything pop. Oh, that one that one floated gracefully through the air. <laughs> I love it. Let's see what we got here. We've got an eight of wands. Hmm. Where there might where there might have been stagnancy in your life. Now the pace is picking back up. You're ready to create change, whether in the form of communication or moving towards your plans or goals. Use this forward momentum to benefit you. Mm -hmm. uh, reiterating on what I was saying about don't rush yourself because things you may be trying to push yourself to go quicker. Let's read the alternative. Don't force things that might not be ready for your for your experience this creates resistance and slows down the momentum instead take intuitive action as part of your co-creation ship mm -hmm. with the universe and let the energy flow once again yeah don't force anything and like i said don't get in a panic of i'm going to miss if i don't take action now no, it's frozen for you. The uh, opportunity, uh, the potential is frozen until you do get past um, the shadow of this and work with it. Let's go ahead and get you a motivation manifesto. Let's see what the cards want to leave you with. It's 
for my Capricorns. Capricorns. Pop, that was quick. There is no beauty in the world more perfect, more awe-inspiring, and more human and transfixing than unfiltered, unashamed love. Unashamed, unfiltered, un yeah. The way we judge ourselves for some some yeah, and and it could be sim you know this could be a relationship. I, I was a fool. No, you wasn't. You was in love. Be easy and gentle with yourself. Is it anything else? Uh huh. If taking action towards our dreams before the perfect condition arise or before we receive permission is unreasonable or reckless, then we must be unreasonable and reckless. And when our hearts yearn for action and growth, we should care little about what society says is possible or prudent. Ooh, I like that. Capricorns, I hope that was helpful. I hope it gave you some food for thought. But I also help, I hope it helped you focus back on yourself. What's going on inside self to know yourself better. Y'all stay blessed out there.